Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLandDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Well, it's 8 a.m. on a Saturday. What else is there to do but go to pick it, work on my upstairs booth. Y'all, it's going to get crowded at Pickett today. And that is stressful in a way because there's a lot of talking. I don't get as much done. And then I start to feel like I can't work. There's too many people. <laughs> Which don't look at me like that. I, don't know. I think it's a function of ADHD. And then I get like worried that I, there are too many people. Um, got up at 7 this morning. Actually, a little before 7 because my husband decided to come in and make cereal and the dog barked her head off. <sighs> and I said, oh, why don't you just come to bed? Why don't you just come in? Because I got to get up anyway. Well, I didn't know you were going to get up at 7. I'm going to get up when the dog starts barking her head off. That's, that's when I'm going to get up. But I did set my alarm for 7. So I could get an early start. It is 8.10. Not as early as I planned. Uh, for those of you who watch me do what I do and you're like, I'd be in pain watching you. I'm in constant pain. Just, I don't talk about it because I read and I think it was like Maya Angelou or something like that. Maya Angelou? I don't remember. Anyway, I read a book and the woman said, Millions of people went to bed last night all over the world who would give anything for one more day with your pain. So, you know, I try not to complain about the fact that I have aches and pains, but because of the Hashimoto's, I am every day in pain and exhaustion. Just FYI. So if you're like, I couldn't do that because... I'm tired and I'm hurting. Yep. I'm tired and I'm hurting. And my my right arm is still bad from junk bonanza, which is like, wow, really? I may have to go get steroids. I hurt my arm. So now it is covered from uh, pectoral muscle all the way to my wrist with pain relieving gel that's cold and it smells. I get through this day. This is the weekend I have to finish it. It feels like Pickett was really early, and it is. Because there's holidays involved. But once this changeover is done, for December at least, I can uh, kind of leave things in place and then add to it for next month. So it's not as much of a panic next month. January will be a panic again because it'll be getting rid of all the Christmas stuff. I'm packing it up. Hopefully by then my arm has healed. To heal, I'm going to need to stop doing stuff. I'm going to have to get a left-handed mouse at work. Anyway, it's really cold. It's not supposed to be today, but the morning is still really cold. So I'm going to get there, get the stuff out of the car, get it into the booth, and... Work, 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 My butt off. There's a lot of sorting to do here. I can't even walk in here at this point. There's already two of the gals.
I'm questioning all my life choices and uh, I gotta go pick up the kid and take her to another slumber party. But of course my husband's not awake. So he said, well, I'll probably run now and go. No, no, I'm gonna have to interrupt what I'm doing. I'm gonna go do it. Because he's like, oh, I'll, I'll wake up before she's ready to go. Keep it on. And then three car loads of people pull into the parking lot. And at first I thought, oh, more picket fence gals. Until they start walking up with kids in tow and old ladies. And I went, are you coming to shop? <laughs> Why are you closed? Yeah, we're closed. We don't open till next week. Really? Really? We're an occasional sale. We're only open five days a month and it's not till next week. And this lady goes, I saw a bunch of people walking around. Yes, you did. Uh, the, fi the people you've seen walking around, we're getting ready for the sale. We're trying to make it ready for you to buy stuff. We have to work at some point. I said, trust me, if an employee tells you they're closed, they're freaking closed. I saw people walking around. Vendors getting ready for the sale. Good God. I swear. Anyway, I'm going to go grab a lunch and then find my kid and get her off to the next slumber party. All right, I just dropped the kid off at home because she wasn't going directly to her friend's house. She needed to go home and get her costume and do all the stuff. And I said, you told me I was hanging out of your room. My husband had informed me. He goes, well, I can take her to Sage's if you need me to. And I'm like, okay. So they get home, drop her off, put dinner in the crock pot. And I'm getting ready to go. And he goes, uh, are you coming back to take her to Sage's? No. You're taking her to Sage's. You told me you could. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I can. I can. I got work to do, y'all. It's the last weekend I have to get this two freaking booths done. <sighs> so let's get it done. I can't be taking her off anymore. As it is, this last week has run me out of money and gas. Because somebody's supposed to help me, right? Somebody's supposed to do some of the running. Good thing I get paid on Friday. Ugh, cocktails for one tonight. I think I can get it all done tonight and not have to go up tomorrow, which means I could have some happy time tomorrow painting or crafting or doing something. I don't know because I thought I was going to have to go up and do my booth. So I'm hoping that I just, I now have like, hoping I get it done today. So I have time to just be peaceful tomorrow. Like one day at home cocktail before bed. The main house is like full of people. But I did what I'm going to do in that booth today. And uh, I'm back in the regular booth because I got some stuff that didn't go in over there. It's going to go on that corner shelf and I'm going to get this sort of sorted out. Sort of sorted out and then get my outside stuff outside. I went up and down the stairs like five times. I'm just exhausted now. Okay, let's, let's get this one done. Then I can go home and maybe have dinner with my husband. That'd be nice. I don't think I have room in my car for all this, so I may have to come back and get some of it. Okay, we'll figure it out. Okay, instead of taking that tilt tote out, because I had that garland, I decorated it. 
then I put the Merry Christmas signs in it instead of behind things. And then I put that lamp down there, tuck that behind. I kind of made a point of just tucking things behind and instead of taking them out. As you can see, I've kind of filled all the little places because this sale is the one that people just kind of clear us out of all the little smalls and it's nice to have things to kind of put back in place while the sale's going. At least the wall stuff so that it doesn't look completely empty. So that's why I'm leaving all the wall stuff. I put this on sale now and I dropped the price of a couple other items too. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I'm thinking I'm gonna bring in some more pillows that are, I have that buffalo check one that I cannot find. I'm going to have to find it uh, more of a Christmas themed pillow. Maybe we'll stencil one up tonight. I don't know. But then I put the vintage snow up there with the deer and I've got these up here and I'm going to, I'm going to call it good. Y'all, this stuff's going out to the car and it's going to have to fit because I got nowhere else for it to go. So. All right, I'm gonna load the car. Check this. Oh my God, that truck is on the road. Um, the car's full. <laughs> of the things I've taken out. I'm uh, happy that I got it done today. There's a folding shelf that'll have to come out on Tuesday. I can't get it in here right now. But, uh, The trunk is full, the back seat's full. Ooh. Trunk is full, back seat's full, front seat's full. So good thing I don't have to grab the kid right now. Otherwise I would've just left it there. It's hot. It's actually warm. Going into the November sale and it's hot. It's hot. It doesn't feel very fall-like right now. But I think that will bring people to the sale for November, you know, I just talked to Susan, one of the other vendors, and she said last year in November was her best sale ever. And uh, it's true. That's why I didn't want to take too many things out. I started just tucking things. Oh, gosh. This thing is going to fall. All right, we'll talk about it later. I had a second of the plane. I got it fixed, I think. They're jumping around now. Anyway. Um, I'm just glad to have gotten it all in and all done, but I layered up stuff so that I could take stuff out as things sold because if it's not there, it can't be sold. I'll never forget the time that my husband said that to me and he goes, and I, I like it clean and I like it. And I think the upstairs right now is probably more cluttered than I think I've ever done. But I remember one Christmas sale it was a November sale. And he had come in with me and he goes, why are you taking stuff out? And I said, it just doesn't fit. And he goes, no, just, you can't sell it if it's not here. And that was one of my better sales. And it was because there was so much stuff in there. So I didn't take a lot out. I took some out because it just would just, it's too much. I needed to get more Christmas stuff in. So I needed, I mean, I took a few pieces out, but I filled those spaces with Christmas stuff. But then I also hid things like behind things and under things. And it's like, if it's not there, it can't be sold. So when they just like clear the shelves and you're trying to make money, it's really disheartening with your booth's empty. So November is just gangbusters normally. Recession is gonna be a little wild card for this sale because a lot of people are about the recession gas prices have stayed relatively level here so hopefully that means not too bad of a sale but we'll see we'll have to see it's all up in the air right now I think it's still gonna be a good sale I wish I had more stuff I gotta go through the garage but I don't also don't want to sell it all in November and not have anything in December. Plus I have stuff I have to take to Vintage Junkie. So I'm like, 
Ugh, I didn't bring my blow molds. I've got Mary and Joseph, and usually those go in November because people are decorating their yards right now for Christmas. They'll be in November, they'll be decorating their yards for Christmas. So I've got my Mary, Joseph, baby Jesus, and the little lamb too. Gotta put those out in the yard. The yard has some blow molds, but not a lot. Oh my gosh. But I'm gonna be done for the day. I'm actually gonna go home and cook. So I've, I've got a roast and a crock pot, but I'm gonna go cook some side dishes and maybe some biscuits. And I feel like being nesty right now. So I'm gonna go home and do some nesting things and um, relax. This is the first time I feel like I can relax in a long time. I stepped on a banana peel sometime in September and I've been skidding towards this moment. I can finally sit down and relax. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'! Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.